Good morning! It was a really nice time hanging out together after we, Danny picked me up. I'm so glad to be back in Panama. Yeah, Sombrito too. was excited, Danny was excited. <laughs> Grammy even gave me some cuddles and woke me up this morning. <laughs> I'm really happy to be back in Panama. Feels good. We've been kind of cherry picking the high elevation spots at night. So we're going on a nice hike today. It should be about two miles, but they said it'll take about three hours because it's pretty strenuous. Our first stop on this hike is this cool petroglyphs. Ooh, I'm so excited. The petroglyphs on the rocks are about a thousand years old. How sick! Yeah, left by natives in the area and this is called the India Dormida hike. So the sleeping Indian. I think yeah. that's kind of what the hill looks like. But this is definitely an indigenous uh, area here. And along this hike there seems to be a lot of little houses. This is called Anton Valley. It's a big crater of a dormant volcano. We'd actually have already been here before, but we weren't able to do anything because the coronavirus had everything closed. We were locked down here and we had to kind of leave because everything was closed. So I'm so happy to be back. The high elevation makes it really fresh. So this hike is really cool because it has a swimming hole, which I'm not sure if we're going to take advantage of. Oh, it has a waterfall and we're gonna be able to walk to the rim of the crater so that we can see the entire valley. And this is Sombrita's first real good test of having weight in this backpack. She's carrying about a half a liter of water on each side, so a liter total. It's not too too much for her. Buena chica! So everything's great. Emily's back. I got to rub my bike a lot and we're gonna even swing by there again later, I think. And we've also had some other pretty major developments in the shipping. So now we have a container buddy, which makes the price half of using a container to ship our vehicle. It's a guy who's from Mexico, driving from Mexico, but he's actually from Argentina. And he lived in Mexico for 13 years. Through our shipping agent is how we got connected. But yeah, now we've basically got the timeline scheduled. We got the buddy and it really is so exciting that we've pretty much got this shipping process figured out now. A bit stressful, just hoping we'd figure it out. Otherwise, we'd have to head back to Costa Rica. But yeah, things are looking good. And for those who don't know why we're shipping, basically to get from Alaska to Argentina, there's no road from Panama to Colombia. So to continue our voyage, we have to ship our vehicle across the Darien Gap of Panama from Colón, Panama to Cartagena, Colombia. So the Darien is a vast jungle between Panama and Colombia. There are trails that you can walk through, but it takes weeks and weeks and weeks, and it's a very dangerous walk. And no one suggests doing it because that's how a lot of human trafficking comes to North America from South America. And contraband. And of course, contraband. We should be almost to the top here. And this is a sweet trail making it the last tiny way. Oh, I love this moment on a hike, especially a crater walk where you come up, you start seeing all these epic views, every side. Whoa, what do you think, Emily? <laughs> Look at this trail. There's no trees on this and the ground is like super rocky. So I think it's sort of a volcanic zone. 
where you know trees don't have enough soil to grow yet I love that kind of a view We came to the first epic view here, sitting on this edge of a cliff rock, and it almost looks like if I kicked here hard enough. It looks like to get to the top, we're gonna do a little ridge walk. This is really good. <laughs> so cute that somebody eat this backpack. Matches our backpack. <laughs> Makes it easy to find us. Wow. El Valle. <laughs> this is an epic view. Before we've seen this view from over that side, you can drive into the town down there and, and you know we spent the night there together and I spent the night there. You can see the ocean, this huge volcanic rim. What a beautiful place, this Anton, yeah. Anton Valley. Definitely top 10 things to do in Panama. Yeah, this is a one of my favorite views, just to see a huge crater like that with a town in it. Beautiful and nice and fresh. I just love the way that ficus looks like it slaps itself on something. Just slurps it all up. <laughs> this place is called Casa de Juan. They have a nice little camping area for us. Six dollars per person for us a night. I'm not quite sure how much the dorms are. But they're very pet friendly. So we got the cats meeting here. Are you gonna put him down or are you scared? <laughs> put him closer. You wanna hold him? Because I'm scared. Okay. What's up, buddy? <laughs> we just got Graham to try and meet Tom, and Graham wasn't really having it. But look who was under our van. Tom, did you smell that Graham goes under there? Huh, handsome? So I got Sombrita a new harness, and look, this is not Sombrita. Are you Sombrita's cousin? Here's Sombrita. Hola, baby. Que tiene? Su hueso. She has a bone. Oh, heading out of Anton Valley. Wow, this road is violent. Ooh, All this slippage. Now, wheel slide. Now, we came up here to the mirror door above Anton Valley where we've spent the night a couple times before. Really chill spot up here. And we got Emily baking some goods here in this uh, Omnia circular oven we have. We wanna try to use up our propane because when we ship our van, we won't be able to have propane in here. So, just made some other baked stuff in there. That last hostel was super cool though. We spent the night last night down in Anton Valley at La Casa de Juan and it was hilarious because we just got connected yesterday with the shipping container buddy that we're going to go in a container with and it turns out staying at the hostel were the people who he had originally planned to take that container with. It was some Argentinians who had been traveling, they've been traveling for two years 
Uh, Emily knows the story. They've been traveling for two years, this father and son team. It sounds like they had a really good time. They bought their minivan in Canada, in British Columbia. And yeah, they were traveling together. They have two motorcycles, are going to sell their car and head back to Argentina. They just don't think that they'll be able to get through to Ecuador. They think it's gonna be not until winter that they can go to Ecuador, so. And then the guy we're sharing the container with is also from Argentina. So I guess they had met him in Nicaragua, but it's ridiculous that the same day we get connected with our container buddy, we also meet the people who he was originally going with. But it was a really chill hostel, nice setup. They had pool table, really good internet we were able to upload a video with. It was also $6 a person for us to sleep in the van. The hostel owner, he buys and sells Volkswagen buses, which is really cool. He had one there from a girl from Canada. He sold her bus to him and he was redoing the whole thing. She had used the bus that he bought from her as a dark room for photography. Such such like interesting people that everyone meets on the road. So cool. But he buys and sells these buses and refurbishes them and everything. And then you can also rent the night at one of these buses and Yeah, he had a trailer there for thirty dollars a night, I think he said. That looked like a nice little chill. Mm hmm You know, had a huge window in the front that can open up. Yeah, I think there's a lot of circulation for the air. Yeah, fridge, stove, and then he just has people go inside to use the bathroom, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it was funny chatting it up with that owner because he was also a skater and a really personable guy, really chatty in Spanish. But he had actually seen a clip of me at the Chitre skate park. <laughs> so that was kind of cool talking about that skate park with him. Wow, babe! It wasn't <laughs> creative enough that it was already circular. <laughs> you combine two separate things into one round baked good. <laughs> so you think I should try both at once? Yeah, try, try, yeah, take a little chunk out of the top right there. <laughs> Banana bread plus muffin, blueberry muffin. Mmm. Love it. Yeah, it's great round bacon, babe. Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. That's nice. Mm hmm That is nice. What a beautiful spot to wake up here. We got the complete view. But unfortunately, we're having a little problem with our technology. The pump is not working. I got in here, I was hoping it's just the switch we got. So to test that, I undid the wire where it goes to the switch and this is after the switch. If I touch these together, we're gonna hear the pump do anything. Boom. So it looks like all that's bad is our switch, which is pretty nice because anytime we've had some electrical issue, it's just been the switches that break, which is the tiny little part. I didn't expect them to be so error prone. Probably would have spent more money on a really nice switch. <laughs> but luckily we have a switch right next to this one that used to control the heat tape in the winter. So just switch it over to the new switch. We'll have water again. Today we have to get our second DIP renewal. It's crazy. We've almost been in Panama for two months. Wow, so good thing that Danny's getting this fixed because yeah, it's gonna be a long day and we'll definitely need some water. Here I go with the bag of goodies. <laughs> Danny's heading to the Aduana to renew our TIP for the second time. We had to get another month of car insurance. We used FedPA car 
car insurance is, I think it's the national car insurance. So this is our second time renewing our TIP, and this is the final time that we're allowed to renew it. We can't renew again. We have to be out of here by the time this one expires, but we should be, I think. Our ship date is before. Yay, Danny got it! Yeah! Oh, uh, yeah. That was uh, quick. Yeah, zero dollars. Zero dollars once again. <laughs> good job, babe. Thanks for doing that for us. We're good for one more month. Woohoo! Last time we're ever gonna have to do that here in this country. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, not too bad of a process. You guys might remember this spot from when Emily visited Philly. I came and found this and really wanted to show her just how epic the view is here. Wow, uh, incredible. I'm so glad we came. We came for a little lunch break on our way back to the city. Yeah, you see two rivers emptying into the ocean, a bunch of islands. You can even see the, the boats waiting for the Panama Canal. That's what those were. I was thinking, are those more islands? But they didn't, they look too flat. I think some fishing over there too. And then here, the peninsula. And then if you look over here, you see the coastline go way down there. He's gonna show you guys where the van is. Over here, that's where you can park. That close. You used to be able to park up here though and sleep right here. Wouldn't that be epic? Wow, I'm debating putting out the tent, but I know you got kicked out of here whenever I was gone. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always nice being kicked out uh, by the police when you're alone in a van. <laughs> yeah, it's also happened to me. It does, it really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good boy. <laughs> so Sombrita wasn't able to do her favorite thing while we're driving, which is stick her little head out the window. <laughs> but we got some security film and some heat film, and we couldn't open the window because the glue had to seal. And now we're able to open the window, and Sombrita is able to do her favorite thing while we're driving. So Danny's going to show me the skate park that he was hanging out at while I was away and also I'm going to be able to meet some of his friends that he met here in Chitre. So we'll see you guys next time. We're heading to the beach.